All right, let's go ahead and get started. As we can see right here, this is going to be known as the Asian Migration to America. This is also known as the Bering Strait Theory. Let's go ahead and start with the map right here. If you notice this area right here, this is known as Siberia. And this is what today we know as Alaska. Now the Bering Strait Theory is, well first of all, let's look at this word. Notice what it says, unsure scientists or unsure. This is where the word theory comes in. The idea that, hey, this is a hunch, we really don't know. It's as close as uh, we're gonna get. Now, if you notice right here, this word right here, ice age, during this time period, you're gonna have something that is gonna be known as a Paleolithic ice age. And what's gonna happen is you're going to be having a freeze. And uh, what's gonna happen is uh, these two landforms, Siberia, Alaska, they're going to be uh, uh, joint together because of this ice land bridge. Now the waterway right here, this is known as the Bering Strait. And if you remember your geography, a Bering, a, a strait is a narrow waterway that connects two large landforms. Now the, uh, this land bridge is going to be known as a Berignia. All right, now According to the uh, Paleolithic Ice Age, also scientists theorize that the distance be, uh, on this land bridge is about a hundred miles. Again, it's just a theory. Well, according to the uh, Bering Strait theory, you have vegetation that is growing on the Siberian side. You have brush, you have trees, and once the land bridge is there, what you're going to be seeing is uh, this brush, vegetation, trees are also going to be growing uh, to the land bridge, and they're going to, of course, cross, and over here you already have vegetation, but it only uh, continues more, okay? At the same time, you're going to be having two main groups that are going to be coming into the uh, what is today the Americas. These groups are going to be known as the Paleo-Indians. The word Paleo of course refers to the Paleolithic Ice Age. Alright, uh, if you notice there are uh, two groups of Indians that are going to be coming over. The first one here are the gatherers. And the reason they call them the gatherers is because these guys are not just vegetation, ve uh, vegetarians, but what they're going to be doing is these gatherers are going to be eating uh, vegetation, they're going to be eating fruits, nuts, berries, or small lizards, whatever they can catch, and because they're following their food source, like the vegetation, they're going to be over here in this area okay so these gatherers again some of the items that they eat nuts berries and if they can catch a small lizard or any small animal they'll they'll eat it of course okay now also according to the Bering Strait theory you're going to be having animals that are going to be crossing from Siberia across the bridge into Alaska. Here we have uh, animals, and as I mentioned, they're going to be crossing the Bering Strait, the bridge, and they're going to be coming over here into this side. And like the gatherers, you're going to be having a group called the hunters. If you notice, these guys have a spear. These guys are following the prey. And they too are going to end up over here in the Alaska side. 
these guys are going to be hunting prey and according to scientists some of these prey happen to be deer and at one time mammoth okay now if you notice two common characteristics two common characteristics of these two groups gatherers and hunters number one is they're nomadic and uh, the gatherers they're going to be uh, gatherers these are the guys that are going to be after uh, vegetation and uh, nuts berries and as those uh, plant life uh, die they're seasonal they're going to be uh, be very nomadic and follow wherever they find the vegetation the other group are going to be chasing their prey and of course these guys are going to be uh, following the migrating animals another of the characteristics is they travel in small groups and the reason is the f small food source that is available you know like the uh, uh, gatherers they find a bush of berries if you have more than 50 or 100 in that group they're going to finish those berries right away so the idea here is small food uh, uh, small groups at the same time the hunters if they catch a rabbit there it just goes so far that they can uh, the rabbit can only go so far okay as we move on we're going to find out that this ice land bridge is uh, I'm sorry uh, the ice age ends and the land bridge is going to be underwater as the glaciers melt the water table rises and the uh, the uh, land bridge is going to be underwater and as it says here the Indians are going to be marooned and they're going to be cut off from the rest of the world what is important to know is that these uh, these uh, Paleo Indians when they came over they did not bring domestic animals and by domestic animals we're talking about cows pigs horses they're not going to be bringing those animals and as we know uh, those animals carry a lot of disease so for that reason they're going to be losing their immunity to a lot of diseases therefore when the Europeans do arrive the number one killer of the Indian are going to be the disease that the Europeans are going to bring over smallpox chicken pox measles those kind of diseases the last item I'm going to mention is right here because it is a theory it is not accepted by all people some of these are the Native Americans according to them hey we've been here all our lives we have no Asian uh, characteristics in us okay